And when you have opinions and predictions about sports, you're bound to be wrong every now and then. I'm here to fully confess I was wrong about Deacon Hill. When Cade McNamara went down, I thought a healthy Hill would be better suited for the offense. Nothing spectacular. Move the ball, keep the train on the tracks. Can't get any worse. I was wrong. Really wrong. The train has derailed, fallen off a cliff, and exploded while in midair. The offense went from bad to worst I've ever seen. Iowa had 13 drives start in their own territory. The Hawkeyes only crossed midfield once. 127 total yards, a whopping 12 in the second half. 12! Kirk Ferentz had a problem on his hands with the offense before the loss to Minnesota. Now he has a catastrophic nightmare. No one can embrace the suck when you lose. I feel bad for Deacon Hill. He is trying. He's waited for this opportunity for years. The offensive scheme stinks. O-line, not good. But reality is, he just doesn't have it. We've seen enough. Joey Labus deserves a chance to play quarterback. If not, why in the hell does Iowa even have backup quarterbacks on the roster? What's the point? College football is a big boy sport. When you don't perform up to a standard, you find yourself on the bench. Every player knows that. When a Hawkeye running back fumbles, that player is banished to the underbelly of Kinnick Stadium until Kirk Ferentz deems he's worthy to see daylight again. Ball security was the reason Ferentz could lean on in keeping Deacon Hill under center. Not anymore. Hill had two horrific fumbles and a terrible interception. There are no more excuses. His numbers are the worst in all of college football, 37% completion percentage, and the only reason Hill doesn't have more interceptions is because his accuracy is so erratic, even the defense can't catch the ball. What are we doing? Joey Labus won a bowl game nine months ago. No one is saying he's Patrick Mahomes, but he played efficient and played well in the one game we saw him. Deacon Hill has had four games to prove himself. None have come close to Labus's performance. It's over. Look, I'm a Kirk Ferentz supporter, Hall of Fame coach, all-time great, but this offense is exhausting and embarrassing for a Power 5 school with all the resources Iowa has. Joey Labus should be the starting quarterback against Northwestern in two weeks. If he's not, he should put his name in the transfer portal ASAP.